Okay, so in the first video it shows you how to set up LabVIEW from Vision Assistant just to set up a simple program. I'm going to send over some coordinates to um, Robot Studio. So what I'll do is you might notice that these two pieces of code. So the setup we've done before using the TCP IP um, and this one is the code from the actual array that we use as well. So you can watch both of them videos if you want to see how these codes are set up. Um, but I've literally just copied and pasted them into this so it's the exact same code. Um, so what we need to do is just create some persistent variables. So these are two separate tasks that will be running on the controller. So we want to be able to transfer the coordinates from one task to the other. Um, this task here will control the robot and this one will look after the actual server. So let's set them up. So persistent is PRS and we will share the data. Do the same with the X coordinate. I'll just do the X coordinate for now the Y coordinate is the exact same. Um, it's just to save time. Um, what I also want to do is I want to find the length of the string. I want to find the delimiter, so the, the actual comma as well. Okay. And the last thing I need is a flag. Okay. So this flag is going to tell. Sorry. And this flag is going to tell the main module when it can actually move. So, on the actual code itself, we'll move down to string receive and we will have data equals string receive string. And then, what we'll do is we'll find the length of that. So, to do that, we use what's called a string length. In the string that we want to check the length of. Um, the next thing we just want to find the actual position that the comma or the delimiter is in. So to do that we use string find. Now uh, we tell it what string we want to look at the position. So it's, it'll be the first comma that we find. And then we need to tell it what we're actually looking for. So that will be the comma. Okay. Um, once we have that then we can set the x coordinate. So the x coordinate will simply be let's see, string part, so just to separate it. So the string will separate the position, so it'll be from the first position, and then the length of that. So the length of that will actually be the divider minus one. So the divider is where the comma is, so it'll be one character before the comma. Okay. Once we have that, then we close the client socket, and then what we'll do is we'll send a flag to the main module to tell us that we can we can walk away. So what we need to do on this is these persistent variables they need to be the exact same on. This, so I'm just going to copy and paste it to make it easier. I'll take it anything we don't need. Okay, and then we need to add a couple of more variables. So we need to convert the string into an integer. So to do that, we need a number. We also need a boolean. So it'll be sorry. Yeah, bool, and we'll call this x. Okay. Okay, so we got our persistent persistent variables that match over here, and then we're going to use these two variables later um, to change the string to an integer. So I said earlier that we have a flag. So in our main procedure, what we'll do is we'll wait until that flag has been set. So we use the wait until command. Flag equals one. What you want to do is you want to give that um, a max time to wait. You, you don't want to be sitting there all day. So I'm just going to give it a random value, but you can suit that towards your own needs. Okay, so using this boolean then, 
So we use x OK. And we want to change a string to value, string to value. So you can see we input the string, so the string will be the x coordinate, and the input output of any type will be the x axis. So this will convert once this is okay, once this boolean is true, this will convert this string into a number. So that's what we want. So it will be x board, that will be x axis. Okay, and then this offset, we've seen this function before. So we just replace the x with x axis. And I just need to divide it by 2 because of the dimensions I use setting up the actual um, table. You, you may not need to. So then the last thing that we need to do then is that this, we need to set the flag to 0. Because obviously if it's 1, it will continue to run through this. So we need to set it back to 0. And again, because we've got a persistent variable up here, a uh, persistent norm flag, that sets that to 0, which in turn sets it to 0 over here as well. And it won't get set to 1 until we get some data. Okay, and that's everything that we need. Um, so what I'll do is I will restart the controller. Yes, the motor is on. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just add some things to the watch. So I will take in the string, the data first, at the watch. X coordinate here. And X axis over here. Okay. So if I run this, you can see that it's waiting until we get a flag, and this is waiting until we actually uh, get some data in. So if I open up LabVIEW, and run this, part one, um, the different one, part two. Okay, so you can see that the x position is 50.5, so we've reduced this down to 50. Uh, the data is 50, comma 414, that's fine. And the x coordinate actually read everything in, so we need to change that. Divider in right, okay. So this is looking for a comma, so that's what the issue was. So let's go again, hit start, and third time lucky. Okay. Let's go with zero zero, so 73, rounds up to 74. So you can see x coordinate 74, x axis is 74. And if we watch the robot arm, you can see that it's 
or 50 percent or 50 50 pixels off x and we'll go again make sure we get from one three nine five around here perfect okay so there you have it so um that's simply it. you just do the same with the with the y coordinates um and put them into the offset here and it'll move it in the x and um, y position for you so that's it any questions just drop me a comment below thanks